what we are going to do is we go to visualize data again and then we'll grab Ladybug Skydome. Ladybug Skydome is kind of a maybe I can pull this all up for a second. I mean, we'll be using this guy for our next analysis, so maybe I can just recover this breath so that we need to move it. So it's basically asking for a sky matrix, which is this guy over here, cumulative sky matrix. Again, asking for north location, drag radiation, diffuse radiation, analysis period, high density, blah, blah, blah. We don't need that much of a detail, but we'll be using this to create our sky dome because this is really important. The sky, the conditions of the sky is going to be fed in our Ladybug sky dome analysis from this guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so the north again, I'll be using the same north here and I'll be also wire display hidden, maybe wire display hidden to the location. Location is going to be Madrid. Direct radiation, diffuse radiation, we'll be using this direct radiation from here, diffuse radiation from here, and probably there will be something already up there. Yes. And then the next thing that we are going to do is always. Uh, we can we can do that too. Uh, analysis period, and just grab an analysis period. Not this one, sorry. Ladybug analysis period, and put the always in. And this is basically creating our sky now. And what I'll be doing, I'll be putting this in, and immediately I started to see a uh, kind of a kind of a sky. Uh, oh, here. And one thing that I wanted to do here is to provide sort of an provide sort of an uh, center point and scale. We can do what we can do here is we can take these here maybe, take a point and set one point because I want to see it here as well. And we are also trying to. We we'll also putting the scale like let's say tree scale projection again maybe in fact projection again we can use it 2d or 3d 3d is fine irradiance if you want to like cumulative radiation like what it says with units of very average irradiance uh, we don't need that that's okay for now showing the compass we are showing the compass. If you want to put a toggle here, put the toggle in, make it false. And what it, it's going to be creating is showing not the compass, by the way, it's basically the component. So what this does is the total radiation, direct radiation and diffuse radiation. And Legend parameters, if you want to change, you can change. We can bake this all in as well. You see, we have the mesh, we have the, as an output, mesh, compass, compasses, let's say, legends, idols, vectors, touch values, mesh values, like all these information that is coming from here as well. So one other thing that we can use here uh, to change, again, the legend parameters, like let's copy this and paste it and connecting over here and maybe one thing as an index is we can put wolf benefit and harm uh, kind of a thing I mean you can change anything you can change it to anything maybe this one for instance and we have already created these uh, sky radiation like uh, sky domes already and like if we come to the visualization set again where is this visualization set connected here and ladybug dump visualization set let's check that as well ladybug dump dump 
visualization set, format name, dump. I don't think that's a big difference. The visualization is much more detailed. So let's let's take this one and then see how it goes. Uh, let's say okay and group this. See what we have. Yeah, we already have a sky dome right now. See, when we preview this off, when we preview this on, we are having our sky domes here. And if we uh, make this rendered, we already have that. We are having the, all the information, like the energy that is coming out of the, from the sun. Uh, on this particular look to this particular location and uh, that can be used in our analysis for sure or providing analysis for your next steps so by this being said we can show the sun path or we can show the windrows here and like maybe maybe push this back a bit further how we can do that select everything select objects and push them back so that they don't overlap with what we have done with the wind rows here so this being said i think uh that's pretty much sorry that's pretty much what we have done on this one and in the next one we started to calculate some sun hour analysis for how much hour of sun is hitting our site on the project so stay tuned for the next video